Hey everybody, it's Brandon again, and I got my good cameraman with me today, Benton, which is nice to have. And what I just wanted to show you real quick is, either yesterday or the day before, we did a video showing Android Studio running on Chrome OS Flex on this laptop right here, yeah. which is the Asus L210M, really slow laptop. And um, if you go back and watch that video, you can see Android Studio took forever to start. In fact, it was taking so long to start, I didn't even wait for it in the video. And uh, it's real choppy, real unresponsive. And I just wanted to demonstrate the exact same laptop uh, with Linux. And um, Android Studio actually runs pretty good on it. It's fairly responsive and it's usable. And I could actually, if I had to, use this to do some coding. Now, just like with on Chrome OS Flex, I couldn't get the emulator to work. As soon as I, I could create an emulator, but when I tried to start it up, the program crashed. Probably because there's only 4 gigs of RAM in this device. But um, I have no doubt that I could debug on an external device using this. And I probably could with Chrome too, I didn't test that. But it really is irrelevant because the performance on Chrome OS Flex was so bad that it's it'd be really frustrating to code on. Yeah. So I just wanted to demonstrate for someone who's on the fence thinking about should I get Chrome OS Flex or Linux. Just think about what it is you're using your computer for. If you're going to do Android development, or really any Linux-based applications in, in general, you're much better off just installing Linux. But if you're only going to be doing web apps, then Chrome OS Flex, I think, is a better option. a question. Oh, what's your question, Benton? How come that was originally super slow and choppy? On Chrome? Yeah. Well, it's just... I don't think it's optimized that good yet for Linux applications. Oh. So if you want, so this is a good question, Benton, thank you. So if you want to do Linux stuff for Android development, I'd recommend using Linux. And? And for web stuff, Chrome oh. OS works perfectly. A good comment. A comment, what is it? Make sure you like the video and Smash the subscribe button. Yeah, that is actually very good advice. One more thing. What is it? I just realized you, you, none of you have clicked on the bell at next to the subscribe button. <laughs> the notification bell. Yeah. You notice that. Yeah. Well, listen to that, everybody. Benton knows whether or not you've liked or subscribed. Or hit the bell. So you probably ought to do all that. Or else you'll find out. Right? Right. So anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about today. Thank you all for watching. You already heard the great instructions from Benton. And one more thing. And one more thing. If you click on the notification bell, that means you know when we upload. That's right. So thanks for watching. And I hope you all have a good day. Bye now. You can stop it. I don't know what else to do on this video. You said stop. I know.